you might notice I've got a few flies that are joining me for the walk. That's the secret to my uh, to the world famous recipe. It's a 300 watt panel, and it really hasn't been charging the battery up at all. You know, thanks for joining us. So in this episode here, we're obviously uh, we're still in the wheat belt way, which is up in the the wheat belt of um, WA. So very hard back basically. It's a long way from both places. All right, so we're gonna drive around it. There's a campground on the other side here. We'll drop around there and have a look. Right, we'll try this again. The, uh, as seems to be happening out here because it's so bloody warm. GoPro just keeps overheating. Anyway, so here we are here. So we're at the campground of the of the rock here. Information here in the wheat bit way. Which to this point has been a lot of dirt roads. Corrugations, sand roads and those types of things, but they've all been pretty they haven't been a drama at all. Big map here, so obviously you've got Bering Booting Rock, uh Alec Budding Rock, which is where we are now, and little town site, Marsh Rock is where we're gonna um, set up camp tonight and there's a uh, a couple of things we're going to see on the way there. A nice big map there, the whole area here. And on this side here, the information on the rock itself and and uh, everything that's around here. The campgrounds here are massive. Oh, must have a lot of people come and stay out here, but again, there's the, you know, there is the toilets there, and which look pretty decent. quite vertical and, and going up there the, the car struggled a bit with traction with uh, the way the camper trailer but wow what a what a bloody view it was pretty windy up there so the drone was getting blown around a bit but a fairly nice spot and if you wanted to there's no reason you couldn't camp up there maybe not on the uh, rock edge itself but maybe just in board there just yeah, in the middle area there. you could peg a, peg a tent down yeah. and put a, put a trailer up there yeah which way are we going What's the rock wave? Oh, Jed. Oh, yeah, look down this way. Not going to lie, it's a bit tight. And my hiking boots here <laughs> aren't made for walking. Oh wow. Yeah, I reckon this is it. So, what is it, 40 metres long? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. Now, there's a big rock down here in your right. Watch your toes. Whoops. Hope this is coming up on the GoPro, right? It's pretty. Pretty bloody crazy seeing it. It looks like it just comes up to that end. I don't know, you can walk out. There you go, your head or your toe? Oh, toe. <laughs> Daunting, isn't it? Oh, there goes my toe now. <laughs> Yeah, don't recommend it in thongs. I definitely did it the hard way and I've got a really sore toe to be honest. I reckon we go back through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 
it is a bit of a different view coming from this side. Actually, coming from the light, you know, it's going to have to adjust so you can actually see it. Which there's a couple of <laughs> couple of rocks. Yeah, that's what I kicked. Another rock. Oh. Almost tumbled. No, I am now. Oh, that was a big rock I told you to go through. Yeah. Why am I wearing my sunnies like an idiot? Probably half the reason I couldn't yeah, see. You were in his Yeah. <laughs> that was really cool. But going in, it looks all dark and your eyes don't adjust to what you're actually seeing, but very cool. Because here it looks like the wall goes top to bottom, but yeah. as you go down, so for anyone who's doing it, as you go through, the tunnel starts going more of an angle where it's going sort of like that towards the wall. Hence, you know, that two metre wide path, suddenly becomes one metre. And there's a couple of little sneaky rocks in there as well. So that's Rockwave. All right, so put down in the comments, do you reckon Rockwave came first? Or Wave Rock was first? <laughs> Let me know. So there you go, there was Rockwave. Not to be mistaken with Wave Rock, although it is pretty, pretty similar the cave there was really cool so if you're out here make sure your buddy check it out but hot tip don't wear your bloody sunnies because it's dark in there anyway we're making our way back to the car now and i don't know i think it's around 12 30 so i think we probably spent two hours here bugging around and having a look around and uh, i think we're gonna go back to the car and Grab a tinny, I think. Rightio, we made it. We're all set up here at Marsh Rock. I don't know what you reckon, Ellie, but personally, I reckon the nicest spot out of the out of the, the three we've been to. I, I think we've worked it out well with the shade and the wind and the, yep. the flies. So it's a tree of trouble. Basically, all right, so you can, you can see I'll set up here, right? So got the both the end windows set up there, nice breeze blowing through. Not gonna bother with the mat because it's basically sand so under feet. Just ignore that bit of glass there. Weber's all set up for the roast tonight. Did you settle on what roast you want? So got beef brisket or uh, butterfly, 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 lamb. butterfly lamb. All right, All right. cook a bit quicker. What time is it? Maybe getting closer to five o'clock. You're probably thinking it's a bit late to be starting a bloody roast diesel, but we didn't have lunch till probably two o'clock. <laughs> nope. Maybe a little bit later by the time we finished it. This is a massive camp area. There's not just the big camp area here and the tables and the fire pits. You can drive around for like hundreds of meters and there's tracks going off forever and there's camping bays set up in all of them. Marsha Rock is this this big rock up here. There's another rock up the back here as well. Oh, so we're going to have the sunset going down straight over there, which will be bloody beautiful. And I'll see um, in the morning as the sun's coming up. We'll have a bit of shade, which would be nice. But watching that sun go down there, I reckon straight over there. While we uh, enjoy a good feed and a couple of coldies, sounds pretty bloody good to me. Just back over here, there's actually a dunny there. To drop Danny, but Elliot said it's probably the the best one we've had. Uh, each spot we've got to has just been a total fleet. We haven't looked up facilities at all. We just looked for a spot, and, and we weren't even sure whether they were free or paid or not. We just sort of went and, and went and checked them out, and uh, each one's been free, so it's free camps all the way for us here. So you see all the tables and the and the fire pits. Sort of, it goes back 100 meters that way, and like back up to the front of the rock which is maybe 150 meters there's bays all up around there's tracks all around the rock there this is a ripping spot it's a nice way to finish off uh, this trip so last night here tonight and get this roast on now and we'll crack a cold in 
we're gonna um, sit down and watch the big bash and we'll add you know you know the good news there's plenty of bloody flies here just feels like we can't escape them but hey the warmer weather will do that all right so where are we going trying to find the, the lamb sorry i got to pull out bloody 25 cans in its fridge to get to it here we go look at that there we go let's go on there bloody beautiful all right now that's hot i might get the drone up here and give you a quick look yeah pretty interested to see that that rock up there obviously we're going to have a bit of explore anyway we'll get the drone up here and we'll give you a look and we'll check on this meat in a bit and my buddy wet my whistle Dinner's come along nicely, but Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be bloody beautiful. If there's one bit of advice I pass on a camp is when you're out here doing these types of things, don't ever get to a camp. I'm all set up now, I'm all done, I can put my feet up and just relax. You can definitely do that, but make sure you remember every half an hour, 45 or an hour, make sure you just do routine checks around your camp. There's always, you know. Uh, with a bit of wind around or whatever things fall over things get blown over things stop working those types of things one thing i'll you know never do when we're camping like this is take how much battery power we've got for granted um, you don't know what you're going to need your battery for it's something i always find myself doing is moving the solar so we're obviously using the panels here but all it takes is one of these shadows here or and suddenly that solar isn't functioning at all and something I'm always doing out here is keeping an eye on the amount of voltage we've got in the battery. And she's at 12.8, you know, which is probably the best we've had all weekend. And the reason for that is we just had a you know a clear line of sight there to the to the sun, and the solar's just been able to run and, and keep generating that battery. And we're just running everything we need, and we're not having to, to save it all, which is obviously pretty nice. All right, so what we're going to do? We're going to get this feed all sorted out. You would have seen the drone footage I had a bit earlier. There was actually someone drove up on top of the rock there. And we're going to drive up there and um, check out the sunset. Which looks like it's going to be pretty bloody good, isn't it? Yeah. It's a tough life out here sometimes, isn't it? Could be worse. Could be worse for them. All right, anyway, I'll get cracking this and I don't want to miss this sunset hanging around. I'll show the plated up Tucker in a minute with Elliot's special uh, recipe potato salad. But anyway, I'm gonna get cracking this because I wanna make sure I can share the sunset with you. Might have to buddy, might have to sneak myself some here. Gotta give Ellie a bit of credit here and I don't give him credit for much. This potato salad is um, just completely ridiculous. All right, and a bit of, a bit of that. There we go. Slide the plate over. There we go. How hungry are you? Reckon we start off with that and see how we go. Anyway, that's what we're eating tonight, and as you can see, we're eating well. We'll, uh, I'm going to try and get this. Yeah, plenty of flies around, haven't they? They come around and. They know what's going on here. Anyway, we're gonna get this down, and we're gonna get in the car, and we're gonna head up and give a look at this sunset. Righty yo, so we're going this way, I think. Sorry. I think we drive this way. Yeah. But we'll find out soon enough. But I'll tell you what, the flies are coming out in force. Uh, at the moment, we that food out. My God. Made a lot of friends. I actually had deep dinner inside the camper. Um, just a just so we could have the moment to ourselves to be honest with you because <laughs> we had a lot of unwanted guests although well, definitely uninvited 
I th my thinking is so basically all around this rock there's little four-wheel drive tracks um, but in saying that you can definitely get in in two-wheel drive no worries at all it's all um, pretty pretty comfy roads but looking up ahead looks like it might be a little bit of a challenge Radio, so we made it up here. Sorry if I'm squinting, but uh, I feel like it's it's a bit in person if I for where my son is while I'm talking to you. But two wheel drive car, I reckon you could get up here, or even um, like a an SUV or something like that. You definitely get up here. And if you come here, make sure you come up here in the sunset. It's absolute magic. There's actually a little uh, picnic table there. Try to sit down, and enjoy yourself, and enjoy your cold, and that's what we're gonna do. I'll just quickly show you some of the drone footage. Um, that I got pretty bloody nice and I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Well, good morning. What was it be 7.30? Yeah, so. We actually managed to have a bit of a sleep in this morning. Well, I did. Ellie had to get up for a wee during the night and didn't get back to sleep. Now, something I have tried these last few nights is this uh, little rechargeable light here, which is obviously a torch, and it's got the orange lighting, but the one in particular I'm actually gonna let you know about is when I had the orange light on, Bugs were loving this orange light just as much as the white light. So, in essence, this is really only good for a torch, which again it will be. And uh, again, if you don't have enough power, you know, that'll do the job. But these ones here, and I've been asked about them, all these are is just strip lights. Obviously, you get them in white and orange, 20, about 25 bucks, some of like that. I'll chuck them up on the screen. I'll I think they might sell but we've had these a couple of years and these ones here which when I had these going bugs weren't attracted to it at all so that one did the job of what an orange light is supposed to do first that one so just in case you're thinking about doing using one of those um, there you go hope that's helpful I've got to talk about it so I know you know it is a sort of a factor for people flies whoa the first one really burning I remember well, I'll say that because you can actually hear them swarming around your head. Yeah, yeah, it was actually a noise and bzzz all around your head. Whether it was because there was just no mosses around or whether it was because we're using Thermocell here, I couldn't tell you. So, yeah, no mosses problems at all, which is when you're camping, pretty bloody nice. Water wise usage might be of use to people. So, We've got an 80 litre tank on the front of the camper and on the rear of the camper we've got a 120 litre tank. And I'll just show you how much we've gone through. So, 80 litres empty, 120 litres half full. We haven't used the tanks for drinking water at all. I know a lot of people do, so if you were, maybe um, put that in your calculations. Water-wise, we've actually used bottled water because we had to bloody get the water cold. All we've used the water for is washing dishes and, and showers. I charge everything out of the back of the Bajero and the 12 volt setup I've got here. That one there is the Kickass Mini Power Box. I hope it shows up screen. So 12.8 volts at the moment. I'm just running these two here, but that's got six USBs and a USB-C. And again, Obviously everything just charged, I just sit the, you know, I just line everything up out here and everything charges, all the GoPros and everything. 
This extension lead here runs in under here. I've got a 2000 watt inverter in there. I'll likely sometime soon get around to doing a video of my 12 volt setup here because I know uh, many of you got Pajeros and and uh, maybe thinking about doing a setup or considering your options as well and I'll just show you um, how I've done mine. Guys, we've just pulled up in 2J, which is uh, I think it's 84 k's to Perth, so we're nearly home now. I'm trying to wrap up this video and, and this trip. So, in this trip, we just worked out before it's been pretty close to 900 k's all up. So, we obviously had the three camping spots, they're all free camps. A fair amount of it sort of happened by accident and by fluke, and really just, just exploring. In the, the day, I had a couple of ideas and I checked out a couple of spots on Wiki Camps. and. Elliot found a couple of spots just, just by Googling and for those interested, uh, towing the camper with the Bajero, it's about 14 to 14 and a half litres per 100 k's. So as always, I know I always say it, but I, I just really want to make a point, you know, super thankful for the support. You know, there's many of you, you know, dropping comments and messages and those types of things and always saying how much you know we're inspiring you to get out and do these things really for me it's the other way around it's just the support the comments and you know the interaction with you guys is what motivates me to ultimately get out and and do what i love doing while it's a hobby and you know i'm not going to be flogging merch or any of those types of things to you it's super inspiring you know to hear the, the kind words and support and those type of things from you guys and um ultimately it gets me out doing what i love doing and um, you know, it's, uh, it's good for the soul to get out and do these things. So, so thank you. I really mean that. And feel free to jump on our socials. We're on Instagram and Facebook. You can get us through Messenger. Those types of things. You know, feel free to reach out and say good day, as, as a lot of you have done. And don't even feel like you've been a hassle. Ask the questions. Just say hello. Whatever it is. Love to talk to you. You know, like the video if you can. It helps us uh, reach more people. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And you know, if you like what you see, it's another way of uh, showing a bit of support. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up now. Really enjoyed this trip. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time out here with Elliot. And anyway, I'm Diesel from Getting Around Oz. Camper Trailer Travel. Thanks for joining us. Hooroo.